Hey guys, um, this is a video to of how to work this plugin right here. It's uh, custom forms for Dragon Ball Z, uh, Dragon Ball Craft, whatever you want to call it, uh, the mod, DBC mod. So, this is how you do it. First, you need to get a server, right? You need your server. And this is the my files for this server. I just made this server to test stuff, whatever. Um, so basically, what you need to do is you need to go on this website first, right? Make sure you go to, well, it should do the latest. Click download now and put it right inside of your server's plugins, like mine, right here. Superforms, right? Where is it? Right here. And then if you want, well, you're going to want to. So to add forms to this, you need to get this, which is an add-on to add them. You have to download this one right here and put it in as well which is right here. And then what you do is you restart your server and you will have multiple files. You will have super forms and super forms add forms. Now first what you need to do, I'm not going to go into the game because it lags me when I record and go in game, but anyways, go into super forms and open config right here, which is right here. Now you want to ignore, you just ignore all this stuff. All you need to do in here, all you need to do is click right here where it says add forms and click do false. All right, so you do false. So then it won't add God and UI basically to your thing. And then what you do, once you save that, uh, start your server and when you do slash SM, it should, nothing should be there pretty much. It would just be an empty menu. So then you go into super forms, add forms and go into the config here. And now you'll have an example. You have an example one, but don't worry about any of that, all right? Don't worry about any of that. I will have a link to a paste bin in the description where you can easily uh, get code. And you're going to put the code, just do control A in here, delete, control A, and then control V and paste what was in paste bin. And then boom. And it will have these, the def well, they're not default. I made these custom, but. They're not great, but they're, um, there's Future Super Saiyan and Ultra Instinct and Rage. And you can, like, edit these all you want. But all you do to add another one is you take, you go to the bottom of Rage right here, see? And just copy this part right here. Control C, go down. And then, boom. And then you have another form. Now, I'll show you now, once you add this form or whatever, um, you, I'll show you, I'll tell you real quick what to edit for these. First, the name, you can name these whatever you want. You can edit the ones that are already made and you can name them. Like, let's say you wanted to make, I don't know. I know you don't want to probably, but Super Saiyan 4, right? Let's just say you want to put that. And then you would put false for no defaults. And then for name, you would put... Now, the reason people are having problems is because the string is not set up right here. It just says example form, which I had to fix, but it's whatever. And then you just put whatever you want. So if we want Super Saiyan 4, we would do this. Four, like that, right? And then color, you would just put what color you want. You can get that online easily. Menu location is which, which item slot it is in inside the menu. You can... You can make that whatever you want. Um, particles. Now, I'll have a link in the description to this website right here where you can go here and get particles. Um, there's tons. Um, so, yeah, there's tons. And what you do to get them is right here. You look under this tab right here, the left one, where it says Java Edition. And you just copy that and put it in here, right? And then menu item ID is what item it is that it shows up in the menu. So you can put like a block, item, whatever, you know. And um, yeah, and then you can put for speed, the speed is basically how fast you run when it's active. So you can do um, point, point whatever you want, but... Point 0.2, I believe, is the default, so you would probably want to put like point like 0.5, 6, point 0.8, point 0.10, whatever. Race, you for races, you put whatever race you want to be able to use this. Now, negative 1 is uh, any race, 
And if you go into super forms, uh, where is it? <laughs> right here. All right. These, I'll put this in the description as well. These are the races, right? So you can put, um, sorry if you hear noise. Okay, so, freaking washer and dryer, whatever, okay. So these are the forms, right? You can put whatever form you want. Um, I just put negative one so anybody can use it. And then for stack with DBC forms, you can put true or false, whatever one you want. It doesn't really matter. Uh, but... Well, it does matter because, I mean, I put true. You should just keep it to true, honestly. But if you put it to false, then you will not be able to um, use it when you have forms active. So, like, if you put false right here, um, when you have, like, Super Saiyan 4 on, like, Super Saiyan 4, like, um, or like Super Saiyan 3, Super Saiyan 2, you know, like, God, whatever... If you have that on, you cannot use this, basically. But I would keep it all to true because, I mean, so you can use it with forms because if you can't use it with forms, it's kind of stupid. And then hair color, you can edit to whatever you want. I just keep mine to negative one because I want it to keep it the same or basically whatever their default is or whatever it was before. And then hair color or aura color, I just put negative one because, I mean, I want it theirs to stay the same. So if they're in, like, Super Saiyan Blue Kaioken, it doesn't change it, basically. So, like, just straight up white or something. And then buyable, you can put true or false. I put false. Well, true's already set, but you can put false if you want. It doesn't really matter, but um, because you can't really get the TP in-game. But then default damage is just how much damage it does, which is, like, I just put, like, 10 on this one and then 0. You don't have to edit any of this, really. It's, you don't have to edit that. And then this multiplier is what's really important right here, okay? This right here. This is what it times your damage by. So, <clears throat> so you have to put like, um, <clears throat> like, uh, like let's say you want them to do like six, three times, like three times their damage, you would put like 0. 0.6, right? And you would just put 0. 0.6 throughout here or, yeah. Or if you want them to be able to be upgradable, you can just put make them go up by levels. But I just make them the same. So when they get a form, it's just that form. There is no levels. And then um, default region, you can just edit that to whatever you want. Um, defense, you can edit that whatever you want. It's basically the same as damage multiplier. And then the cost is how much each level is in TP. Now, this TP is not TP from the mod. It's TP from the plugin. So you're going to have to do commands to get that or request or something. And then the, the dodge chance is pretty obvious. And, that's, and then just save it. And then start up your server, and it should work perfectly fine. Um, so, yeah, that's pretty much how you do it. And if you have any questions or anything at all, just post in the comments or... Go into Super's Discord, which will be in the link down below as well. So just, um, yeah, check that out if you need help or anything. And, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. And if, you know, if you need any help, just let me know.